a busy day indeed. Israel's military has issued an unprecedented evacuation order to Palestinian civilians in Gaza, basically telling them to evacuate the entire northern half of the Gaza Strip. Israel says that region is full of Hamas military sites and that Israel will be targeting it, and they are urging Palestinians to move for their own safety. But there are more than a million people who live in northern Gaza. It's the most densely populated part of an incredibly densely populated area. The United Nations is saying there is no way to evacuate that many people without a humanitarian disaster unfolding. Remember, Gaza is sealed off. The Egyptian border is closed, the Israeli border is closed, and the Mediterranean Sea is closed to Palestinians. There is nowhere for them to go. The United Nations is pleading with Israel to hold back on this threat of large-scale targeting in northern Gaza. Now, it's not clear whether Israel intends to move into northern Gaza on the ground at the stroke of midnight, which is the deadline that they have given people to evacuate, or if this is going to be some sort of stepped-up phase of their already incredibly intense air campaign. But people very, very nervous about what will come at midnight about seven hours from now. Hamas, earlier today, has said that 13 hostages have been killed by Israeli bombing inside of Gaza. Israel is denying that, saying that they have no indication at all that that is true. Uh, NBC News has not been able to independently verify that. But just for a moment, assuming that it is the case that 13 hostages have died, either murdered by Hamas or killed accidentally by Israeli bombing, that would be around 10 percent of the overall 150 or so hostages we believe are being held by Hamas. We expect President Biden later on today will speak to the families of some of the American hostages. The president has said he will do everything in the power of the U.S. to try to bring them home. And Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is here in Israel right now. He's the latest member of President Biden's cabinet to come to this country. You'll remember the Defense Secretary before he was in the cabinet was a senior American general. He was in charge of the war against ISIS in Iraq. He said earlier today he knows ISIS. He has fought against ISIS. The savagery of the acts committed by Hamas on Saturday in southern Israel eclipsed the worst things he saw committed by ISIS. Guys. You mentioned that the 